Congratulations, Bart. This is Maxim Magazine, and uh, there were 100 women up for this honor, and you come in number one. That must be pretty exciting. It's very exciting. I don't know how, how that can be, actually. Well, I do know how it can be. Look at this picture. <laughs> That's how it can be. That's a beautiful picture. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, you're, you appear to be completely naked in that photo. Well, you know, I'm not that confident. I actually had a thin line of underwear that they airbrushed out. Oh, yeah. so that's how they do it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you wear underwear, but then they, uh, they airbrush it out. Exactly. When the model doesn't agree to appear completely naked, then you have to use the magic of computers. Right, right. Yeah. That must be, so a nerd was sitting at a computer screen working on that. <laughs> a very lucky nerd. I a, was very, a very lucky nerd, <laughs> yeah. yes. Um, I just, I'm just imagining that you are, you're on the number one on this Maxim list, and, and long before this, I've known about you, I think about you often. Men must go, <laughs> you've not responded to any of my letters. Uh, <laughs> men must go to great lengths to meet you. Do men, are men very forward with you? Are they always trying to meet you? Okay, let's put it, let's, let's put it out there. No one hits on me. No I one get hits hit on by guys, no one flirts with me. It's like, it's the most, yeah, it's very sad, actually, but... Yeah. Why, why do you think they, they don't... Is it because they're intimidated, do you think? I, would you tell me, please? Do you well, you're talking idea? to the wrong guy because I am nothing but confidence when I'm around... <laughs> don't laugh at that. That's just cruel. But back in my single days, if I saw you, I wouldn't mince words. I would come right towards you, and I would be extremely confident, and I'd be in an office chair with wheels. There's <laughs> <laughs> Hello, there, how no are you? There's no guys like you anymore. Really? Not at all. What, what kind of lines do you hear? What are, the, what are some of the things that guys do try when, they're, when they see you? Okay, and... so I had, uh, not, not long ago, I had this guy, I was at a club, and I was like, sitting like this on my Blackberry, and I was really bored, I just wanted to go home. And then I see feet. I'm like, okay, I hope this guy will get away, like, really soon. And then I hear, 310-533, da 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 and I look up, I'm like, what? He goes, you want to write down my number, right? That's what you're doing. I'm like, I'm taken, but if I wasn't, I would totally call you. That works? Yeah. A guy coming up to you that confident and saying, here's my number, because uh, I know you want it. I mean, a guy, yeah. A guy never... comes up to me, works. I hope that will happen every now and then, but I, especially well, I think, like I that. I think after this interview, your life is going to change. No. <laughs> you just put it out there that no one speaks to me. I'm going to no. regret it. Please. Be careful what you wish for. What huh? is it you look for in a guy? Tell us, what, what, what are the qualities that you look for in a man? Um, well, there's, of course, the obvious things, like I want him to be sweet and kind and, right. uh, you know, good blah, values blah, and blah, morals. Blah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the real things you're looking for. <laughs> Hot. Hot. No, but I, the first thing I notice in a guy is mm -hmm. his teeth. His teeth? I have a fetish. I have a fetish. If I've never heard of someone with a tooth fetish. No, he has, like, to have a great smile and really white, bright teeth. Do it. <laughs> Nice. No, no, no. I'm trying to smile that shows a lot. I'm trying to smile that shows all a lot of teeth. Okay. And it comes across as creepy. <laughs> That's creepy, right? That's not good. You don't it's like that. That's creepy. Yeah.